Who in their right mind would ever believe that a banana duck taped to a wall is worth a million dollars? But there it is, displayed for all the world to see and the IRS to ignore. Consider this for a moment. Say you've got a whopping $20,000 tax bill. You might think you'd just have to buckle down and write a check to cover it, right? But no, if you're wealthy, you've got a better option. You simply hire an artist, maybe for $100, get an art critic another 100 bucks to declare that your shiny new painting is worth exactly $20,000, and then donate the whole thing to a museum. Boom, instant tax deduction, just like that. And you're square with the IRS, no questions asked. The audacity of it all just blows my mind. This is a game being played on a massive scale, involving billions of dollars and countless pieces of so-called art. And where is the IRS amidst all this? They're too preoccupied chasing down a single mom who can't afford her tax bill to even glance at this pile of artistic nonsense. The bitter irony of it all is that this is completely legal. Why? Because the people at the top, the ones who are already rolling in money, are the ones benefiting. They have politicians in their pockets and the rest of us end up paying the bill. Can you believe it? We're covering for the top 1% who, even if taxed at a modest 20% rate still less than most of us pay could easily fund the entire government. I ask you, isn't it about time we called for tax justice?